just needed to make a video today because I've just been feeling so sad watching the world where we are. Um, but I have great hope and I just wanted to make a little video because I know that we are going to get through this. But people just have to kind of understand and realize that these forces are going after the people in our world who are, you know, the group of people that are... Sorry, this is loud. The group of people that are willing to actually fight for the entire other group. These forces are demonizing these people because it's a divide and conquer thing. Because the other side has just totally drank the Kool-Aid in terms of nothing's wrong and, and all of the other side is evil and bad. But what these forces are doing is they're going after, just, just think of us as a tribe. And they're going after the warrior class. They're demonizing the warrior class. And that's not to say that there are not warriors on the other side. I'm sure there are and many good people. But they're going after, a, they're demonizing the warrior class so that they can eliminate that in this takeover. And if they're able to do that, you know, then this other side is completely blindsided by all of this because they think it's everything is good and business as usual in terms of this takeover of our world. And, you know, one another thing I noticed is that every day now they're chemtrailing from in the early morning. As soon as the sun comes up, it's clear. It's like they start hammering and they're trying to shut down the sun so that we get only an hour or two of some sunlight a day. And the systemat systemic effect that that's going to have on all of us and nature and the planet and Earth and all of this and our immune systems is not good. So we have to start thinking really about how do we create our own society that's self-contained, where we take care of each other, we have our own ways of bartering money, health, food, planting, you know, our own areas that we, that we have say, in, you know, um, and that's not to say that I don't think that this can't be resolved. I think we will in a bigger picture, but we have to start understanding what is happening and start paying attention. So anyways, I'm making a little video and hopefully I'm sure my, our beautiful friends will do a flash of light here or there just to illustrate that they're with us, you know, and I keep, I keep holding out for them to come back into your physical awareness beyond just orbs in the sky or flashes of light, but in the ways that I've talked about it with, with us. I believe that will happen soon, and I want it to happen soon because with that return, is, is, uh, it's, it's going to be a big shot in the arm for the people that are connected to their heart and to nature and to God, however you perceive God, and their faith and to rising above this darkness it's going to restore that faith you know so anyways love you guys watching the birds circle usually that's a sign when you start to see circling birds the beautiful family is very close by they're right there all the time but that but that's a sign the birds pick up on them and they start to circle and sometimes they're not even real birds <laughs> sometimes they're actually manufactured plasma but when they are real birds that is they're they're those birds are connecting with the craft them that are there and then you'll often see craft or flashes of light which you may see now so love you guys talk to you later stay positive but 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 wake up we need to be this has to be a non-violent revolution this think of gandhi think of the way that gandhi totally conquered the british empire in india through non-compliant peaceful resistance
but holding on to our truth, holding on to our awareness, holding on to what we know is true, our connection to God, earth, each other, and, and holding those values and holding that freedom and fighting for it in a nonviolent way. Okay, love you. Look at them circling right over my head. Okay, guys, love you.